Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome back to a, another video. Today's video was a question that I've received a lot from people. <clears throat> um, the question I've received a lot from people, uh, whether it be in passing, people I know, um, uh, and, and yeah. And as you tell by the title, that question is, how do I succeed at my basic training? So, before we get further along to the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me which one to see down what you want to see more of down below, and we'll get right into it. So a lot of people think basic training is this extremely difficult uh, task to complete. Other people see it as a super easy task to complete that you don't have to put min you can put minimum effort into and still can still pass. I mean, it's basic training; it's not that hard. And I've got a lot of questions: How do I succeed at it? Whether that be um, yeah, whether that be getting, like, top candidate, of course, passing all your exams, doing really, really well, getting the highest mar marks on all your exams, to being, like, an outstanding individual that both the staff and all your course mates like, or just passing as a gray, we call it gray person now, um, so fly under the radar, no one really knows you, and then you graduate, and nothing has ever come of it, or you just go and you pass, um, Basic training for most people is pretty, uh, is, is passable and is doable. It is not a walk in the park. It is not a cakewalk, but it it's by no means like rocket science engineering where you're going to go and build, work for NASA, building a new uh, uh, moon landing uh, vessel. It's nothing like that. It is all... A lot of it is just being there, retaining information, and just knowing what is a game and what to focus on. So at basic training, like I've said many, many of times, a lot of basic training is a mental game. And for a lot of people, it's the first time they've ever been away for a long period of time, away from their family, away from their spouse, away from their kids, away from their hometown in a different province, different side of the country. It's a lot. It's a huge mental change that definitely affects people. And a lot of people get homesick very fast within the first couple of days to weeks to all the way up until the end. And then a lot of the time people just think that the grass is greener on the other side of the military. They go in and do it and they think that basic training is how the military is like the entire time because the course staff is there to make you think that what you're doing at basic training you're going to do for the rest of your military career. It's what they make you believe. It's not at all what it's like um, for the rest of your time. It's just a complete mental game to weed out those that just can't take it. And by me and can't take it is they... They treat it as like, oh, you're going to go to war tomorrow. and You're going to go fight tomorrow. So would you be reliable as an individual with like fire team partner, your friend, the person sitting next to you in a situation? Would that person count on you or would you just hightail it and run is kind of how they set it up. Now, there's quite a bit of academics that do come into it. Um, not hard academics they're pretty easy easy academics the the exams and tests are very self-explanatory they give you a textbook well correction uh, at least when i went through my basic training four years ago they gave me a textbook about everything that's going to be taught and how to do everything so whether that be the military ranks a little bit of military history and all that rifle drill drill stuff like that all in this textbook so like, if you study that textbook, read it a couple times, you should be fine. And most of the things on the exams and the tests are pretty self-explanatory. You just read the question, and a lot of it makes real sense once once you're there, once you do the classes. Um, you're going to be tired. You're probably going to be tired the entire time. You're going to be miserable. You're not going to have fun. However, there's going to be points that you do have a lot of fun. Uh, for me, what I enjoyed about it was my... Uh, members in my section, my platoon, uh, my platoon section mates, uh, two section is always best section, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was mainly about the camaraderie uh, that really helped me get it through, as well as knowing the fact that this is going to support my family and make 
my life is so much easier once this is complete. I'm going to be making good money and be able to support my family. And knowing that I'm going to be going into a job that I'm going to like to do. I mean, most people do probably join. They don't actually know what they're going to be doing because they don't research it. So research what you're going to do before you pick the job. And if a recruiter tells you, hey, you're going to go do this. If it's not what you want to do, don't do it. Tell them you want to do a specific job. You can do that. Um, don't be afraid of recruiters. Um, if they tell you, no, you're going to be infantry and you don't want to be in infantry and you want to be an airborne electronic systems operator, go be an airborne electronic systems operator. If you want to do well and you want to succeed, the only one of the biggest things that will help you succeed and help you do well is making good relationships with people in your platoon, uh, in your section, your roommates, whatever, whatever it's like now. Making good connections with a couple, one, two, multiple, everyone in your platoon will help you succeed. Um, story from my basic training. I dislocated my knee uh, on the very first run that we did. I popped it in because I dislocated my knee before, but it just was acting up the entire time throughout the rest of the course. And at the very end, we had to do a... Uh, a, a drag where we had to drag a certain amount of weight over distance. I was with a bunch of people that all knew my knee was, was all busted. We were trying to shoot for like the highest standard. Like we were trying to be the first ones to complete this drag. Halfway through the drag, my knee gave out on me and I had to limp across the rest. We finished. We were, we were in fourth or in first all the way up to that point. And then we went down to third because my knee gave out. And everyone understood. Everyone was accepting of it and we were all happy and no one cared after that because they were really good friends they knew my situation and they knew who I was and they knew I just wouldn't give up um, in a situation to succeed is all about you as well personally if you're coming into the, this with the right right reasons and right mindset you will succeed no problem it's like any course any single course that you'll do anything you'll ever do in life if you want to if you want it if you want to do it you will be successful um yeah there's some people that they want it they just don't want it hard and hard enough or they think it's going to be a cakewalk and they get in there with no expectation and then they just don't perform because they think everything is easy and they're the best at everything they do um and then they don't succeed for obvious reasons um you need to put the effort in you need to put the time in, you need to put the long nights, the sleepless mornings, everything into it. <clears throat> it's only three months. Or, I don't know how long it is now. For me, it was only three months. Or two and a half months, three months, and I got through it. And it was probably one, it was, it was really fun looking back on it. At the time, it sucked. But looking back on it, I think it was really fun. I succeeded. And yeah, I'm not a very smart, intelligent person. Uh, I am not a bodybuilder, an unreal athlete by any means. I am very average. Below the average when it comes to my brain capability. Uh, just because I there, I know my limitations. I know what I can and cannot do. But I can retain information and I was able su to succeed. Uh, I don't want to paint the picture that I'm this perfect individual who can do anything that set task that I can I can put my mind to basic was hard for me on the educate on the uh, on both all the fronts on the physical fitness side all the way until the academic side I had my struggles in certain areas but I was able to pull out and pass no issues um, and yeah it's all about knowing yourself and going in with for the right reasons and going in knowing that you're going to be successful. I knew when I was there that I would pass. I was not, and I knew while I was there, I will not get recourse. I will not be put on a path soon. I will, I will succeed the first time, first try. And having that mental, those words in my head, the entire time I did something, I will do this. I, like, I will succeed. I will only be here one time, just going over and over and over my head really pushed me to doing everything to the best that I could. Pushing myself past the limit that I, I've i ever pushed before. There's some times where I didn't push myself past the limit because I didn't need to. But yeah, it all depends on how you are. But it's not hard to uh, succeed at basic training. You just got to have the right mindset. 
and understand that a lot of it is just a mental game uh, to weed out people that wouldn't be good in certain situations. So yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see down more of down below. We're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next.